Good morning. So, this is supposed to be the continuation of me braiding my hair. But I have to stop that segment to literally say that last, nope, it was this morning. So, I guess, apparently my phone was ringing. Um, but if you know, you know, my phone goes on do not disturb. Like you could set like a um, nighttime for your phone. So it goes on do not disturb. <laughs> until 5 55 in the morning so if you are calling me it's not going to get to me and then if it gets through i end up pressing the side buttons because for the most part everybody know that my phone is on do not disturb and then if you don't know i will call you back in the morning <laughs> i'm not gonna hold you do not call me from the time of 9 30 to 5 55 if i'm already talking to you or i'm like on my phone then it might get through. But if I'm not, it's not gonna get to me. I won't even allow it to get to me. So then there's a knock on my door. Now, another sidebar, I am naked. <laughs> no towel, no nothing, just buttered ball naked because I took a shower and I went to bed. <laughs> that's just that's just that on that. So someone's knocking on my door and they're talking Chinese. So for me, it's like, that's weird. It's three o'clock in the morning. Why would anybody knock on my door? I open it in my towel and there's a man like pointing to like downstairs. And I'm just like, I don't speak Chinese. I have no clue what you're saying. I shut my door again a bit. So I'm falling back to sleep and there's a knock on the door again. So now I'm, I'm like scared. Um, because it's like, why would anybody be knocking on my door? It's a man and it's a woman in her like, I want to say hazmat suit, but I'm just saying like, this is what they wear when they're like, you know, when we're shut down and you don't want to get corona, they put on like this full body stuff, right? Um, so I'll insert like a picture here so you guys can see. Um, but then he's just like, um, you have to go downstairs. We're going to be isolated. I'm like, come downstairs. Do you guys know it's three in the morning? I have on no clothes. And then I'm like, where are we going? And why are you guys coming to my place at three in the morning? The entire day, they are telling me like, we have to leave. I don't know where it cut off in all the video, whatever. So I'm just like, it's three in the morning. I have not gotten any information about the shutdown since we shut down Thursday of last week, I think. Um, so I'm confused on why you're isolating me. I have not left my apartment since. There is a sensor on my door and like food and everything needs to be brought to me. Um, they come to pick our trash up outside our apartments and then they sent me COVID tests, which I kind of did on YouTube. Um, I'll probably just insert it after this little clip to show you. Not on YouTube, but I did it on, it's, yeah, I think I said Instagram. So now I'm scared. I'm like, actually, I am terrified because you guys, there's a man there is a man and a woman at my door telling me to leave my place at three in the morning. How, first off, that's disrespectful. Like you have the entire daylight to be like, hey, we're gonna take you. I have not seen anyone get taken since at like those random hours. Um, I think I had got a call um, a while ago too at like 10 and they were just like, pack your bags, you might leave. But no one ever said anything to me after that. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And so even today, like, so I'm up, I am fully dressed while I'm in my bed. Again, I was naked. So I had packed stuff and I've been waiting for them to call. This person from immigration keeps calling me. They don't keep calling me. He called me at four in the morning. Immigration office is not open. Chinese immigration office is not open at four in the morning. If they have some special hotline that I'm not privy to, they only work during business hours. So... One time I got a call from immigration and they're like, we just trying to help you. And I was like, okay, what information can you give me? He's just asking me questions. And then he starts yelling. And I'm just like, wait, I thought you were calling to help me. Like, and for me, it's like, if you're going to help, if you're helping me, you're going to give me information as a foreigner in this country. So the way I know what's going on and I feel safe and I feel like nothing's going to happen to me. And he's just like, 
have you been are you on lockdown i'm like he, i think so like no we can't leave he's like are you on lockdown i'm like i think so they won't let us leave like the entire building is on lockdown he's like but are you isolated i'm like why are you asking me the same questions but in different forms and then he's just like getting so angry and i was like it doesn't seem like you're helping me it seems like you the cdc all of these, the Cha Young Police District, the community center, like only thing you guys have done is call me to ask me questions. No one has given me any information. I don't know what's going on. All I see is Thursday, I try to go and take my COVID test and you guys are stopping us from leaving our apartment. And I'm just like, it's normal because I guess there is a case that might have, have arrived. And if it's on our block or in our building, then we're isolated. This is what I assume. I'm like, I'm not refusing to go to a, I, maybe I am. Okay, yeah, I'm refusing to go. I'm like, you're calling from the immigration office, correct? Okay, so where are they taking me? He's like, I don't know that. I'm like, but you're from the immigration. You're supposed to be calling me to make sure that I am safe. I'm telling you, I do not feel safe. You, He's like, I understand that, but you need to co corroborate. I'm like, I don't think you understand me. I am literally scared for my life. So if you guys are saying that I'm going to go to a hotel, you should know what hotel you're taking me at. How long am I going to have to stay at this hotel? Mind you, a friend said in the group that they took him. And we have not heard from this man since they took him. So you tell me, should I be scared? I also told the immigration office that as well. I said, I have an American friend that was taken to a hotel and we have not heard from him since then. That's why I'm even more scared. I'm just like, you don't sound like anyone from the immigration office. You seem like you're lying to me to try to convince me to leave my apartment at four o'clock in the morning. No, no, I would rather you be safe. I'm like, if someone, if you guys are actually going to escort me to the park, uh, to a hotel for isolation, which they have been doing, um, and people have been saying like, it's okay and it's going well, then why are you doing it in the middle of the night, like at random hours? And then you're sending men to my door. I don't know about y'all, but that scares me. And I am very like I'm more concerned about my safety and it seems like no Chinese person out here is going to care. Even if I'm telling them I'm scared, they're still not giving me any information on where I'm going. This person, I think at some point they said a hotel, but it was in Chinese. I'm like, can someone WeChat me? You're saying you're from the community. I'm in a WeChat group with the community. No one has given us information. And then I checked the WeChat group and the Chinese people are like, we're almost done with isolation. Why are they still taking people? I'm sorry, what now? Now I don't speak Chinese, but when it translates, it translates to we're almost done because we're supposed to be done this week. And I haven't left my place for like almost two weeks. So it's like, what is going on? So yeah, so just in case they try to get me during the day, I already have my clothes on because I did not sleep because they kept on like waking me up. So I'm like, okay, we're leaving. I have like my toiletries packed, my suitcase is semi-packed. I have the other clothes right here to like pack it up. So if I'm gonna leave, I'm just like, if you want me to leave, come and get me in the morning in the daytime. So that way I can see where I'm going and then I can be FaceTiming my friend. I can send my location to them. Like, I would rather you be mad that I'm not leaving in the middle of the night for my safety. I don't know y'all. I don't trust y'all. I'm a foreigner in the country. I don't speak Chinese and you guys are not giving me any information. No, 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 no. Not in the middle of the night. It sounds like kidnapping to me. So I don't know if I'm gonna give y'all two separate videos, one about this situation and then me finishing my hair or if I'm gonna make it just one long video. Um, it might just be two, but this is what's happening like currently in real time. It is, I don't even know what date it is. It is what, let me see. Okay, I can't even search it. Give me a second. Okay, so it is June 14th at 9.54 a.m. 
I have not received a call. Like, I'm recording this and I'm going to upload it ASAP so you guys are kind of know what's going on. And if anything happens to me, just know. I'm also going to send my iCloud information to my family back home. So if they don't hear from me when they try to come and get me, then they have all the information. And I'm just like, the immigration office has called me. The CDC office has called me. Cha Young Beijing police has called me and then the Cha Young community has called me but no one has told me anything actually no one in our building knows anything like share and subscribe